putting pressure on Aka, and as I look up the inside, we give him a little bump. We didn't damage anything. He didn't get a puncture. Oh, around the outside! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to F1 2017. We are back. This is race number 11 of season 2 so far. We are at Hungary, which is a track that is not very good for me. I'm very, very bad at this track. So, don't expect some very big things. But the first part of the season was going incredibly well. So well that today we are racing on 100% difficulty, and we will be doing so for the rest of this entire season. Before we get too far into this video though, I wanted to let you know, we have a new shirt out in the store. I am so pumped for this. This is the softest shirt we have ever had. It is really, really cool. It is the Distress Tee, so you can get it rep and show your love for AR12 gaming. Link is down below if you want to get one for yourself. Massive props if you do. And yeah, let's get into today's video, boys. All right, so welcome to Hungary. This is an awesome racetrack that I am absolutely terrible at. So terrible, in fact, when we were doing the practicing, one of the practice sessions that you go through is uh, is qualifying, uh, the practice qualifying, and you try to put in a fast lap. Anyways, in that, I qualified seventh, or I got expected to qualify seventh place, which is really, really not good. So, uh, uh, hopefully we, we can do better than that today. So yeah, I think the game plan for today is that if I do end up quali qualifying like seventh or even out of the top 10, I think the play is going to be to take a penalty and take a new engine because I think we all know that I am not going to make my allotted number of engines last until the end of the season. So taking a fresh one sometime soon would probably be a good idea. And I mean, hey, this track isn't good for us. So if we know we're going to be starting from the back anyways, it might be worth taking the penalty now as opposed to potentially ruining a good race for us. Anyways, I go purple through sector one. That's quite good. I mean, I don't know who's been out so far for a flying lap, but I'll take it. Lance goes pole position for right now. Very good job, sir. Oh, Fernando goes and knocks the boy off his throne. Okay, let's see what I'm able to do. I have a very angry Ferrari right behind me who I would guarantee is urging to get past. Oh, I completely forgot to mention as well, before today's race started, uh, I got a career thing. I got, I got offered contracts by other teams except all of the other teams were worse than Red Bull. So I was like, uh, no. And they all wanted to make me second driver as well. So, uh, no. Also, look at that. I qualified behind Hulkenberg. Uh, Raikkonen, please go around me. Please go around me. Thank you. Uh, so that's not good. Long story short. There's the two minute mark. Do I want to try to set another time? You know what? I guess I will. It's worth it. In oh. Why? Uh, why? This is when my team sabotages me again. This is not good. Retire from the session. From Shit! The well, I'm in ninth line. place. Here's okay. Ninth place. Hamilton. I have Rocky Fernando Alonso Sebastian behind Sebastian. me. I the think today Sebastian. is the day when I take a penalty and we grab some more engine parts while we can and we don't risk losing races that we should win later on in the season. I hope that makes sense. Yo, we get some good resource points. That is good. Lewis Hamilton is now our rival after we crushed uh, uh, Raikkonen. That's his name. <laughs> I forget who I was racing against. Cool. Let's take a new engine, boys. Let's get engine four going. Might as well. Uh, so I guess we'll take a gearbox as well. That's good. And we will go with gearbox number four. We will take a new gearbox as well. All right. So who is where and does anybody else have penalties? Will I actually... Be starting from the back. Lewis, my main man rival, all the way up in first place. Kimmy in second. Max doing very, very well here, actually, in fourth place. Apparently, I'm the only one who took a penalty today. Good. I, I don't know how I managed to get so screwed, but uh, sure. All right. So our suggestion is to go on the super softs uh, until lap nine, jump on some more super softs until lap 20, and then jump on the softs until the end of the race. It's actually 35 laps here. That's a lot of laps. Um, so you know what? This is a 35 lap race. Let's go with a 36 lap strategy and I'll just run it in lean revs for a lot of the time. See what we can do. Maybe we should have gone with like a different strategy. We could have tried to go for a one stop, but whatever. And away we go here at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Whoa, Ericsson gets a much better start this time. Okay, I was not able to swing the inside on him. Uh, uh, Verline, move! 
Well, that's a good first corner. That's a very good first corner. From 20th to 12th in one corner. Yeah, I mean, it could have been worse. Could have been much worse. The Red Bull, the Red Bull engine. Oh my God, these guys built a dream car. Oh my God, Fernando and Hulkenberg are fighting big time. Look at the power difference along the straight. This is on 100, 100% AI. Why is there a yellow flag? What happened? Did someone end up backwards? Where's Hulkenberg? I think I think Alonso bullied Hulkenberg and I got distracted. Oh, he did! He did! He just bullied him! Look at this! He's just like, hey, Hulkenberg. Nope! <laughs> that, what a rude move. He's, hey, hey, nope! I mean, brilliantly held. Oh, that's a bit of broken front wing. That's no fun. But good job holding that. Very well played. Anyways, I've already made it up into the top 10. How have I managed that? Ooh, okay, drifty. Okay, here's my problem with this track. There are these very silly off-camber corners. So say you're going around a right-hand corner, the road would be tilted to the left, which basically makes your car very unstable, which I really don't like. It's also got a lot of like uh, right-left 90-degree corners, which is also not ideal for me just because I'm not good at them. This Red Bull is built to go in a straight line as quickly as possible not go around 90 degree corners and, and hairpins like this sorta. Of. Lewis goes and sets the fastest lap at a 125 on his opening lap, good job there. And now we've got a, got a McLaren in front. We should have no problem catching up to him, especially on these straights. I will say during practice, he was bothering me a hell of a lot. Alonso was actually putting in faster times than I was. So, yeah, we'll need to see what happens, but let's take a little look. That's a big dive bomb. That was a very, very aggressive move. Somehow it's worked. Alonso did not try to murder us. We are already up into 8th place on 100% AI. How crazy is that? Like, on a track that I'm not very good at, I was not expecting to do this well. I mean, that opening corner for sure helped when everyone was faffing around and I just went up the inside. That definitely helped, but... Like, little overtakes like that is is very good. Man, if we had some of our downforce upgrades, oh, oh, this race would be so much more fun. But it's like we need to stomp on the brakes and slow right down for all of these corners. All right, so there's a little uh, Ferrari sandwich going on up here with some two Force Indias as the breads. So uh, maybe we can catch up to those guys. Lewis goes and betters his lap. Good job. Let's see if we can catch up to a little Pink Panther here. We might have a little bit of DRS. We're actually 1.1 seconds away, which is very unfortunate, but maybe we could close that in with a little bit of late braking and our big boy engine. No DRS for just here. Maybe on the next lap. Come on, let's push. Oh yes, we're definitely closing in on Perez. Look at this. We are going much faster. I don't know if he's being held up. All right, look at that. That is definitely within a second now. We are gonna get some DRS, and this is going to be one hell of a lunge up the back of the Pink Panthers. Come on, in the slipstream. Perez is very quick on the straight. He got a very good exit there. I'm gonna try to stick behind him, break a little bit early. Don't wanna go into the back of him like we did before. And some more DRS. We're gonna drag race the Pink Panther at the corner, and that was not as difficult as I thought. So Mr. Ocon now is holding up Sebastian Vettel in this race. Here's the problem. Look where these guys are on the map, and then look where the guys are in front of them. There was like a yellow flag there for half a second. Oh wait, the yellow flag is... All right, well, I didn't get distracted or anything there. But <laughs> Let's see what happened to Perez. I, I had a feeling he was slower than I, than I was expecting. And I think that has to do with a... Yeah. All right, now that that spin is out of the way and that distraction is out of the way, so I won't just leave my foot in this time. Uh, we can focus on these two guys and try to potentially catch up to them. Maybe if we leave a bit of pressure on Vettel, he might lock up. I know if I do that to Bottas, Bottas always locks up. I don't know. Those Mercedes are very far away, though. Very, very far away. We're still in rich revs, by the way, which we... Actually, we were in standard revs. What? Okay. Vettel is putting so much pressure on that Force India. They're going to be slowing each other down so much right now. Oh man, come on, push, push, push me. But I'm gonna try to make it work. The Ferrari's gonna have to take a look here. Is he going to? Oh, he blocks him! 
going down the straight. What a move from Akon. The ball's on him. Blocking the Ferrari. Okay, that's a big drift. Blocking the Ferrari down the straight when he has DRX. That is a ballsy move. And I mean, hey, me, me back here being Mr. Formula Drift, not wanting to stay on the circuit, should probably watch out for corners like that. Anyways, now we're back on these guys. My Sector 1 is very, very good. It's my Sector 2 and Sector 3 that are not so good. Oh my god, look at these guys again! Vettel goes for a look around the outside, and Akon blocks him again! The ball's on this guy! Akon is fighting for that fifth position, and he does not want to give it up! Crazy guy! Alright, I am much closer this time. I can maybe make something happen if I don't drift it out everywhere. I don't know if Vettel's any closer this lap. But he's probably going to try to take a look. Whoa, Akon blocks him with an early move there. Whoa, my brakes are on fire. Whoa, Akon's car might be on fire. Somehow, uh, I get past the Ferrari and now I'm the one putting pressure on Akon. As I look up the inside, we give him a little bump. We didn't damage anything. He didn't get a puncture. Oh, around the outside on Akon. What a move. What a crazy, crazy move! Up into fifth place we go! Wow! Alright, now the question is, how far is Verstappen in front of me? I would imagine very far. That's a lot of gap. <laughs> Eight seconds, and it's lap six. That's a big gap. I mean, hey, just saying, for starting in last place and now ending up in fifth, by lap six, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Pit window is open now. I think we wanted to pit on lap 9, I believe, and then go on lap 20 and then till the end. I think that's what the strategy was. I want to stick to that. My tires aren't actually that bad right now, so I'll stick with these if I, if I can. I'll be honest, I was complaining before this race how I didn't know this circuit, but the more I drive around and obviously the more I learn, but I feel like I'm actually getting okay at it. I mean, for a car that's not built for this circuit whatsoever, like we have no, I think we have one downforce upgrade. So for a car that's not built for the circuit, we're not doing that badly, to be honest. I'm just amazed that we were able to overtake that many people on AI 100%. Like crazy. Bottas is in first. Oh, Hamilton's on the soft. Hamilton's pit. So I'm currently in fourth place right now. Good job, me. And Verstappen's in third. Yo, if Verstappen actually beats me, I will honestly be happy. He's had such a bad season. I really want him to do well. All right, so much for me driving well on this circuit. He's pulled away another second. Over a second in two laps. Okay, this is where you can really see me start struggling. Like, look at Vettel behind. Oh, Vettel's going for an undercut. What a guy. Freaking guy. Oh, keep. Okay. That could have gone much worse. Yeah, Vettel's definitely going for an undercut on me. Let's go, boys! Whew, come on. So, okay, I'm coming out of the pits in eighth place. I actually have a bunch of clear air in front of me. So this is quite good. This is gonna be like my own little track lap shootout. Yo, you know what would be great, actually, is if we could get a safety car? Max, you wanna blow up your car like last race and uh, help a buddy out again? Oh, someone just came out of the pits. Oh! That's Vettel! Vettel's on the medium compound tires! Okay! So I see what he's planning to do. Vettel is planning to go for a one-stop strategy. Okay, this makes a lot of sense now. So I need to push. I need to be like 15 seconds in front of this guy. Okay, let's go. Come on, me. <laughs> that Ferrari's quick. We gotta run. Oh, I said a purple sector one. Hell yeah. Oh, there he is. We do need to watch out for our fuel as well, I will say. Our fuel light is on, which means we will need to jump into lean revs. So actually, I'm going to do that now since we're sitting behind him. We could almost use his slipstream to tow us along, maybe? Oh, there goes Akon. Akon is going in. All right, I'm going back up to standard revs. I had no idea his tires were that low. What type of strategy is he do? He must be on a three-stopper. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because he went super soft, super soft, super soft, soft. All right, and we're back into fourth place. In front of us is Verstappen, who's currently in third position. Currently on that podium, that's good. And he's putting pressure on whoever's in front of him, which I think 
I think it's Hamilton. Oh no! Max! Wait, what? Third place said. Wait, third place is Raikkonen now. Wait, did Verstappen pass Raikkonen? Is Verstappen in second place? Yeah, buddy! Let's go! Man, it's such a sunny day in this game. It's like, right now, and so I live in Canada, for those of you who don't know, it does not look like this. It is like so sunny and so nice looking outside. It's just like, oh, summer, yay. Go watch my car vlog that I put out on Thursday. That'll show you what it looks like here. It's literally a city of ice. All right, going into the pits for the second pit stop. Ver uh, Vettel is behind me and he will be overtaking. No, I don't hate pit entrances. I hate this pit entrance specifically. Break early. Oh my god, we came to a stop before the line. Lean rev. Can you tell this race has not gone properly? Uh, we need to drive in lean revs a little bit. We actually got overtaken by Ocon as well. That is not good. He's on the he's on the soft compound of tire. I assume he will have to stop again. But I do not know. Alright, Ocon, I have DRS. If you could just play nice and move over. That would be great. I will get you under brakes anyways. If you could just move though now. Nice move. <laughs> and I get DRS again. I'm sorry, Aukon. The Red Bull is no match for your silly Pink Panther as much as I love them. They are very cool. But I'm sorry, man. It, it, you, you're just not fast enough. Well, I'm starting to catch up to the slower traffic. Magnuson, for some reason, is last in this race. I don't know how or why. But that's really weird. Anyways, Mr. Magnuson, if you would like to sort of blow up your car for us and sacrifice yourself so we can get a safety car, that'd be great. Some information on Vettel. They are out of the race. Why? 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 Safety car? Safety car? I know his engine blew up, but safety car, please? No? Why no safety car? He's right here. That's a very dangerous spot. That should have been a safety car. I call bullshit. Kimmy set the fastest lap of the race. Where the hell is Kimmy? Kimmy again. What the hell is going on? So I've just been thinking to myself, F1 2017 was one of my favorite games of last year. I, I, I've, I was calling it like a near perfect game and I honestly didn't know what I would include to make it any better. I will say two things that I would like to see improved. One, uh, when safety cars come out, whether there is actually a danger or not on the track that needs to have the cars slowed down. I feel like that could be definitely improved upon because in real life, if Vettel pulled off the road and just parked it up right there, there would 100% be a safety car. So I would love to see better deployment of the safety car or better AI of figuring out when to, when, when to actually deploy the safety car. Then the second thing is that when someone does go out of the race, I wish there was some better AI to tell them, oh, you should probably not pull over right after this corner. You should probably pull over in a safer location and stuff like that. Because like I said, where Vettel just pulled over was not a safe place whatsoever. And yeah, it, I, I, I could definitely see stuff like that being added in for sure. Oh my God, Lewis. Lewis is behind me. He's 1.5 seconds behind me. I thought Lewis was leading the race. So wait, then in the, and then, 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 okay. It must be Kimi Bottas Verstappen me Lewis. It must be. Okay then. This makes a lot more sense. I'm gonna need to play defend on on Hamilton over the next couple of laps, but Okay, this makes more sense now. Oh, and here he is. He's already caught up to me. There are three laps left to go in this race. We need to step it up, play defensive. And we will be all good. We are fine through sector one. We have the big drag racy engine. Someone is pulled over in sector one. Okay, maybe this will slow Lewis down a bit. I don't know who that is. Going very, very slowly. Maybe we can get another position here. How cool would that be? Could Verstappen and I both end up on the podium? Who is this? We're about to find out who this is. We're about to enter the yellow flag section. Here we go. I saw some bits of uh, thingy on the ground. Oh, it's Stoffel Van Dorn. Of course. Hamilton freaking nailed it through there with me. He just followed my line. Freaking guy. Oh, Lewis, I am not gonna make this easy for you, buddy. 
You're not gonna be able to catch me down the straight, I know that. Like, even if you have your DRS and your rich revs, uh, the best you can do is that, and you're just catching up quite slowly, if I'm honest. So, okay, we need to monitor that, but two laps left to go. Come on, can I hold him off for that long? I need to hold him off for that long. We need the points for Red Bull right now. There's a lot slower traffic in front. If we can get past these guys, this is going to be so awesome. If we can get past them smooth, that is. Actually, no, the good thing from this is I should get a bit of DRS from this. Yes, which is going to diminish Lewis's DRS. This is good. This is very good. I'm going to have the slipstream on Verline as well. He's not going to be able to catch me up. Verline's getting blue flagged a la Max. I'm going to go around the outside. Verline, please hold him up. I really need the assistance. He's held him up for a tiny bit. Verline, you just saved me this race. I had unbelievable pressure from Lewis. And I've run wide again. Oh, it's not over yet. I should not be celebrating yet. Come on. He's very far away, though. Oh, man. Verline freaking nailed it. What the hell is going on up here? What the hell? How am I overtaking you again? Okay, there we go. Valtteri Bottas is the race winner. Okay, I thought Raikkonen would be the race winner after all those fastest laps he set. Well, anyways, GG to you. Lewis is being held up by the traffic again. He has a big trouble getting past the traffic. He's passed with a couple corners left to go. Lance, I need your help big time. Lance goes wide. Whoa, whoa, we get super close. Lance, do you tuck yourself in? Oh, Lewis got cut off a bit. He cut, he cut right back in front of Lewis or in front of Lance. But that is going to be enough for the Red Bulls. It's not the place I thought I would finish in, to be honest, after starting last in the race. That was a, that was a decent finish from last place all the way up to fourth. All right, so it was Bottas, then Raikkonen, and then our boy Verstappen. GG on that one, boys. That was that was very, very good. A different Red Bull on pole, or on, on the podium. Good job. So yeah, Lewis just shot himself in the foot by going with a three pit stop strategy. He started the race in first, and he just dropped all the way down. And then what happened to Stoffel? Stoffel finished two laps down. I think he got a puncture, and he was just like, no, I'm not stopping. So he just got lapped like left, right, and center. Standings now then, nothing actually changes in the top 10. Uh, everyone's sort of in the same sort of position that they were. And Red Bull, we're still in first, but only by 27 points. We need some more, if I'm honest. Anyways, guys, that was the Hungarian Grand Prix. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can subscribe down below for more. I'll see you back here next Sunday. And don't forget to check out the brand new Distress Tee on the shirt. Softest merch we have ever made. Check it out. Link is down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!